Hello friends, this is Ralph and I'm back with another tutorial for the Behringer 2600, the ARP 2600 or any other 2600 clone. In today's tutorial we look at the envelope follower, so stay tuned. The envelope follower is that section of the Behringer 2600 which enables you to convert an external audio signal into a control voltage. Then you can use that control voltage and route it to various parts of the 2600 synthesizer such as the VCA, the VCF or the VCO. Before we go ahead, please let me tell you that everything that I show you with the envelope follower here on the Behringer 2600 also applies to the ARP 2600 or other 2600 clones. Moreover, if you are a beginner to the 2600 synthesizer, please make sure you watch my beginner tutorial. I promise you, you get up and running in no time. I put the link to that video into the description box and also up here. Moreover, I have created a playlist with all Behringer 2600 tutorials that I have created so far. I put the link to that playlist also in today's description box and again up here. And all the tutorials which showcase the Behringer 2600 can also be applied to the ARP 2600 or other 2600 clones. And now, without further ado, let's take a look at the envelope follower. All right, we are looking here at the Behringer 2600 Grey Mini. Before I go ahead, please let me tell you that I have connected an Aturia Keystep keyboard controller to the Behringer 2600 via MIDI. And now let's dive into the envelope follower section. It's located here. The envelope follower section consists of two parts. The preamp part and also the envelope follower part. Let me guide you through all the input and switches here in this module. So first of all we have the preamp input. Here you can input any external audio signal, either a microphone, your voice, a guitar, a keyboard, a drum machine or maybe, as you wish, an mp3 player. Then you have here a switch where you can choose the bass amplification. And here you have a gain slider. You can adjust the amount of amplifi uh, amplification. Now we have a preamp output. First of all, I want to tell you that there is a pre-wired connection from the preamp output to the envelope follower. You do not have to use a cable. There is a pre-wired connection. But nevertheless, you can use a copy of the preamp output and route this somewhere else here on the Behringer 2600. Then let's move on to the envelope follower part. First of all, here you have a preamp input. As I said before, there is a pre-wire connection. So why do you have this input? You can use this input to go directly into the envelope follower and by using an input here, going into the input directly, you can also blend this signal with a signal that is coming from the preamp. Okay, then you have here a slider with which you can control the sensitivity of the envelope follower. And finally, here you have an output with a control voltage which is generated from the audio input. And this is important now. There is no pre-wired connection from the envelope follower output going to any part of the synthesizer. For this you have to use a cable. So now I'm going to show you how to connect a microphone to the preamp. So here I just have an old microphone. I plug it here into the input 
And uh, to hear anything, I suggest to take the preamp output here and plug it into the final mixer. We take the VCF slot. So as I bring up the mixer here, it's also going through this synthesizer mixer. Let me bring in the reverb. Now you can hear what we are doing. We are using the preamp signal to which I have connected a microphone and we route this signal directly into the final mixer and then we also uh, add some reverb. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we take the envelope follower output, the control voltage that is being created by the envelope follower and route it into VCO number two to control the pitch of oscillator number two. So for this we take a cable here, take the output, plug it here into one of the FM control sections of oscillator number two. We take VCO number one slot, bring up the slider, and now I press a key on the keyboard. And now I talk into the microphone. So you see how the pitch is changing when I speak into the microphone. Now you can hear how the pitch is changing. I am running. I am running. I I am running. I am running. I am running to the edge of the world. I am running. I am running. I am running to the edge of the world. So, and the next thing we are going to do is that we take the control voltage from the envelope follower output and route it into the filter. So for this I have created some kind of bass sound with a high resonance. This is the sound we are going to work with. So once again, I take the envelope follower output and plug it here into the control section of the filter. I press a key on the keyboard, bring up the slider, and now I talk into the microphone. So you can hear how the envelope follower is creating a control voltage and sending it to the filter. In order to have both hands available to demonstrate, I bring up here initial gain. And now you can hear. So you see when I change the sensitivity of the slider, it also changes the control voltage amount. I am running, I am running, I am running to the edge of the world. I am running, I am running, I am running to the edge of the world. I am running, I am running, I am running to the edge of the world. I I am running, I am running, I am running to the edge of the world. I am running, I am running, I am running to the edge of the world. For our next example, I'm using an iPhone running the Cork Cow Oscillator app. I take the signal coming from the iPhone and plug it here into the preamp input. The preamp output is routed to the final mixer once again. 
and then the control voltage that is being created and generated from the cork cow oscillator sound is routed once again to the control section of the filter. So we are using the sounds from the core cow oscillator app to generate a control voltage which impacts the frequency of the filter. Now listen. Some reverb. And now I start pressing a key on the keyboard. the sensitivity here of the envelope follower you can hear how this is impacting the frequency of the filter all right that's the envelope follower in a nutshell how are you using the envelope follower? What kind of gear are you connecting to the envelope follower? Please write a comment and share your ideas. I think my community will highly appreciate it if they also can learn something from you guys. Okay, before I sign off, I would like to ask you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my other social media platforms. I hope to see you there as well. And now, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you again in my next video. And until then, take care, stay safe, peace.